Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Kuma. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Howdy people. Polar Bear here. Today, I brought online multiplayer back to my PlayStation, and I was excited to put my offline practice with Kuma to work. Fun fact. If you grew up with an older sibling, you know why I'm not playing on the left side of the screen. I just jumped right in with a quick player match. Round one. It is not really a fair matchup, Fight. but I have to work with what I've been given. Our first round was pleasantly even. The both of us were trying out the level of pressure that we need to apply in order to win the fight. It might be wise not to show your hand in the first round, because your adversary might adjust his playstyle to yours. This leaves room for surprises. If he believes that his attacks will work repeatedly, he won't be able to adapt in time to realize that you know very well how to block his award-winning strategy. Overall, I don't think this player performed poorly, but it seemed to me like he has not much experience fighting Kuma and is thus lacking in his ability to block my attacks. Nonetheless, this fight had an interesting surprise for me in store. Stick around until the end for a neat random encounter that I had in Fallout 76 today. Amazing! As a lazy director, I couldn't have asked for more. In 1284, while the town of Hamelin was suffering from a rat infestation, a piper dressed in pied clothing appeared, claiming to be a rat catcher. He promised the mayor a solution to their problem with the rats. The mayor, in turn, promised to pay him for the removal of the rats. The piper accepted and played his pipe to lure the rats into the Weezer River, where all the rats drowned. Despite the piper's success, the mayor reneged on his promise and refused to pay him the full sum, even going so far as to blame the piper for bringing the rats himself in an extortion attempt. Enraged, the piper stormed out of the town, vowing to return later to take revenge. On St. John and Paul's Day, while the adults were in church, the piper returned, dressed in green like a hunter and playing his pipe. In so doing, he attracted the town's children. 130 children followed him out of town and into a cave, after which they were never seen again. Depending on the version, at most three children remained behind. One was lame and could not follow quickly enough, the second was deaf and therefore could not hear the music, and the last was blind and therefore unable to see where the piper was going. These three informed the villagers of what had happened when they came out from church. Other versions relate that the Pied Piper led the children to the top of Koppelberg Hill, where he took them to a beautiful land, 
or a place called Koppenberg Mountain, or Transylvania. In yet other versions, he made them walk into the Weezer as he did with the rats, and they all drowned. Some versions state that the Piper returned the children after extorting payment, or that the children were only returned after the villagers paid several times the original payment in gold. The Hamelin Street named Street Without Drums is believed to be the last place that the children were seen. Ever since, music or dancing is not allowed on this street. 